Hello, Todd Wilson, how to make a fanpage.com. Facebook fan page is made simple. <clears throat> going to get right into it here. We're going to talk about uh, how to set yourself up with your uh, developer app that you need to install on your Facebook account to make these iframe uh, pages work and to uh, you know, get in there and just start creating. The first thing you need to do is come to facebook.com backslash developers. You're going to hit set up a new app and then from here you're going to if you don't have the application set up right now on your on your uh, account then it's going to bring you through a series of uh, verifications and get you to this point where you actually have it uh, loaded on your account <clears throat> if you have it loaded then you just get right in and hit, hit set up an, a, a new account and another way to kind of get here is to go to developers.facebook.com backslash setup backslash it will bring you here and then you gotta have your site name, your site URL. I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, <clears throat> videos and tutorials lately, but nobody's really shown how you end up and come to uh, those particular things you need. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get right into it. This is my FileZilla. This is my PC side over here, and this is the server side. <clears throat> and what I've done is I have how to make fan page, make a fan page. And I've loaded WordPress. That's with the WP admin and content that all comes when you load WordPress on your site. What I've done is I've created another folder to hold these files. I've called it iframe fan page test. And within iframe fan page test is I always create a holding file folder so that I can slide files that I'm not really using in there. These are other index HTML files that I used while I was creating this particular one. And then the one that finally worked and everything looked good was this index.html. I also have an images folder that the index.html goes and grabs a picture out of, and that's what creates my header. Um, and then there's some a little bit of code uh, that we'll get into in a later uh, video about that. But this is the setup. What I want to show you today is here is my uh, name of my folder. And this is the subfolder iframe fan page. Okay. And what you do with that is when you get to the part where you're now creating the app, you're going to give the application a name, and mine's going to be Kickpox Test Page, and it's all together, no spaces, just a unique name. I've also uploaded uh, an icon, which is 16 by 16, make a unique looking uh, little icon there with my uh, button and then a logo. And once I got all that entered, then I'm going to hit Facebook integration. And here is where I'm going to use that Kickbox test page is the name that I created in that prior page there. So my unique name. And here is where I'm entering my URL of where my files are, which is what I just showed you in FileZilla. There's how to make a fan page, iframe fan page test. And then what it is doing is it is this backslash back here is pointing and saying that there's another file out there, and my file is called index.html. Okay, and then it's also important to in the secure canvas URL to use HTTPS, and that's for uh, for security purposes. <clears throat> there's a little thing over here that uh, they talk about. Facebook uses a secure version of the Canvas URL when your app is accessed by a user over secured connection. So that's why that's important. And you're going to click iframe. And down here you're going to hit uh, you want to hit auto resize on your iframe size. And then at the bottom here this is what your, ta your tab name is going to be kickboxing home and page uh, the tab type is iframe and here is where I'm entering my uh, index.html and when all that is completed you hit the save changes okay and the changes have been saved and everything's good and now we're really ready for the next video um, go ahead and click the button at the bottom here to go into the to the following video, which is where we're going to use uh, the app to start to load it on the site.